Hurricane Matthew 2016, the fire department responded to 62 emergencies during that event. We had 32 water rescue calls. And uh, with those rescue calls, uh, the fire department had never experienced anything like that that I'm aware of in my 22 plus years being on the fire department. So during that time, our 1996 Freightliner engine was submerged in flood waters over uh, between Carla Seas, IGA, and, and uh, Young's Auto Center. It was submerged underwater for some uh, period of time, drowned the truck out, and essentially the truck was not much good after that. Yeah, I, I think they wound up saying this was a 500 year storm, and then like back in Hurricane Fran, and, and there's been a lot of there's been a lot of large storms as everyone knows uh, in the last 20 years. But yeah, that event, like I said, was there was flooding that nobody in town has ever ever seen before. Uh, and over in that part of town, along with the over here behind the road, the water was, was very deep. The insurance company was ready to to fix the truck with the insurance funds, and the town board saw fit that it was time to replace the truck anyway. So we were able to, with the town board's commitment, go ahead and kind of step up the normal process and go ahead and order a new truck. So we got a truck on the way and we took delivery of it in February of 2018. The new one has carries a thousand gallons of water. It's got a 1500 GPM pump on it, uh, six, six, six people. The old engine too, the 96 Freightliner, it was a conventional cab, um, four door. The, the new truck, uh, 2018, model Spartan, um, it's a custom cab. The safety of them is better, they're more, like I say, it's a custom built truck versus just a conventional. So Golden Leaf uh, kept hearing some, some stories about them to apply for a grant, even though the town had already applied for a couple of other parts of the Golden Leaf grant. This was uh, com coming for a different purpose than what the other ones were and, and obviously a desperate need because uh, financially we, we weren't prepared to buy a new truck at that point in another year or two we were getting closer so we would have had to finance it for 10 years so when the golden leaf grant opportunity came available we applied we were awarded and the awarded amount was just over four hundred twenty two thousand uh, dollars and that paid off the truck what we owed on uh, that was very very humbling that's a that's a lot of money to get for one project uh, like I say, we were very humble to get it, very appreciative for the town. Uh, that sa obviously saves the taxpayers money here in town. So now we have a brand new truck with, with no debt on it, and we are very thankful to Golden Leaf for the opportunity.